But like somebody came up and hit me with like a piece of wood or uh, a metal pipe or something and because it was painful all over the place. Hey guys, it's Jessica and this video I'm going to give you guys an update on my shingles. One of the previous videos that we put out, we announced that my uh, my swollen eye that I got is from shingles. And you know, I'm very shocked that I still have uh, or I've gotten shingles and this is going on my second week with shingles. I think I had it in week one and I didn't even know it. I think I was, you know, just suffering from all of this. And then the second week, last week of course, I went to the doctor and he told me, or the eye doctor told me that you have shingles and you have it in your eye. And which was a complete surprise because I'm in my early 30s and who gets it in your early 30s? But he said that high levels of stress can cause shingles in pretty much any age. So, and I had, and I told him, well, I do have a newborn and the labor and delivery was stressful and a little scary. And then uh, about a week and a half, maybe two weeks later, I ended up with shingles. And he said, yeah, that, you know, taking care of a newborn can really, you know, cause a high level of stress. So, and that l can lower your immune system to make it more susceptible for the shingles to start. So I think that's probably the cause why but I'm doing better for this video I'm doing an update um uh, this is my fifth day no sixth day this is my sixth day on my antiviral medication to help with the shingles and my headache is better it was um on this side and it radiated around to the other side like sort of like a hand it felt like 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 that it was bad it was one of the worst headaches I've had and that was from the shingles and my eye um, is still a little swollen as you can tell but it doesn't feel as swollen it doesn't feel as puffy like I can you know my eyelid doesn't feel as heavy as it did before I was on my antiviral medication so that's great and um, my jaw I don't know if anybody else experienced this with their shingles but my jaw joint right there felt really stiff and um, sore like like something hit me you know to put it in a nutshell when I had shingles in the beginning it felt like something hit me in the side of the and the side of my right side of the face it felt like somebody came up and hit me with like a piece of wood or uh, a metal pipe or something and because it was painful all over the place but I'm a lot better now I'm not sore I'm not numb I was numb around my eye and around the skin part and that's a lot better so thank goodness for my uh, doctor that said that I had shingles and he prescribed me the antiviral medication because I don't think I could have lasted another couple days you know feeling the way I did it felt it felt horrible but I'm feeling a lot better now any advice for anybody out there just if you get a swollen eye go to the doctor the very first day if you get a swollen eye and if you get any kind of like sore bumps it doesn't have to look like the shingles like you see on the internet or the commercials because mine didn't it just uh, it just had a sore headache very painful headache sore tender eye and swollen eye and these like weird like it was like almost like a, a sore sore mosquito bite in my scalp but if you get any of those things just go to your doctor and let them look at you because I went for almost a week with all of that uh, like five days and it was and, and, and it's gonna take it a little bit longer to go away because if you start within 42 or 72 hours of the first symptoms the antiviral can help it tremendously but if you wait longer than that it just takes longer for the antiviral to help it's not it's not saying it's not going to help it just takes a little bit longer so just if you get any of those three symptoms the eyes the soreness and those those uh, sore bumps just go to your doctor the first or second day that it shows up so so that you can get the proper help and be healed and not have to worry about it 
because um, hopefully I won't have shingles again normally if you have shingles one time your immune system builds up and it doesn't happen again but some people have been known to have shingles a couple times in their lifetime I hope that doesn't happen for me hopefully this is the only time and um, I think from now on I'm gonna start taking vitamin C supplements and um, it's just so that my immune system can stay uh, strong so that this doesn't happen again. Yeah, this is the update for my shingles. And I hope everybody likes this video. And thank you for everybody for the well wishes and the prayers. And thank you for wishing me better. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.